All right, today it's a Thursday. Today's chess and tries day. I am swollen up. I consumed a lot of sodium yesterday. Um, all three meals had a lot of sodium, and I could just I can just feel myself being bloated right now. It's not not bloated. Sorry, I'm swollen up. Face is swollen. I can barely see my abs. My whole body is like sluggish. I always feel like consuming too much salt is actually super detrimental to like performance overall in anything. Like not even just the gym, but just I feel sluggish. I don't feel good. My body starts swelling up. Ugh, it's just not great. So we'll see if the pump today is actually good because I know sodium is actually good for the pump. But maybe I consume too much. Probably holding a bit too much water everywhere. But we'll see how it transfers over to the gym. So today the ultimate goal is to hit 245 on flat bench for four to five reps. We got three reps last time. Almost damn near tore my shoulder doing it. But we'll see if it's better today. I'm going to try to get a better warm up in today and see if that actually helps with my strength. But the goal is 245 for four to five reps. I'm not going to lie. I don't have my hopes super high for that just because my body feels sluggish as hell. Like I can't like, ugh, I just feel stiff. Everything feels like stiff and like swollen. It just doesn't feel good. But we'll see how it is in the gym. Hopefully the pump goes crazy though because that'd be nice. Let's get this chest day banging. Today the goal was to hit 245 for four to five reps on the flat bench press. Unfortunately, I forgot my tripod today, so my recording angle was a little bit low, but that's okay. Before I actually started my bench press, I warmed up with some dumbbell flies as well as a few pull-ups just to get the blood going into my chest and some of my upper body. This was a warm-up set with 225. I only do about three to four reps for my warm-up sets, trying to minimize my fatigue, but trying to also feel the weights getting heavier. So this was my top set set of the day 245 on the bar we were going for four to five reps the first two reps actually went up very smoothly the third rep was actually pretty easy as well the only issue was my shoulder started misgrooving i definitely could have went for the fourth rep and i think i would have gotten it but i didn't want to misgroove and hurt my shoulder so we ended up doing another set with 245 for three reps i think i realized i misgroove on my bench press because i'm so fidgety with my body you can probably see me fidgeting my legs around all the time during sets and I didn't realize this until today, but I actually do the same thing with my upper body, which leads to me misgrooving with my shoulders. And that's probably what leads to my shoulder injuries on the bench press. So after realizing this today, I really made sure to stabilize my upper body at all times during the bench press, ensuring that my shoulders had no opportunity to misgroove. And the bench press started feeling even better doing that. So I'm looking forward to improving on bench press even more. It's only up from here, baby. We then moved on to the incline bench press where we started off with 185. The first set with 185 actually felt kind of light and I told myself, you know what, why don't we just try to go for 205 because I'm sick of doing light weight. So we loaded 10s on the bar and we went with 205 for the top set on incline bench. We got it for a somewhat difficult four reps. The fourth rep was honestly kind of risky. I got slightly stuck in the middle of the rep. However, we were able to grind it out. For some reason, I've always felt safer grinding stuff out on incline bench. My shoulders don't feel as in danger. Might just be the way my body is set up or maybe my technique on the flat bench press needs improvement. After flat and incline, we moved on to the pec deck machine. I normally prefer doing cable flies, but the cables were taken, so we just sat on the pec deck machine good enough. I was actually contemplating doing dumbbell flies, but I told myself, you know what, the pec deck is what I'm more familiar with. I have not done dumbbell flies for working sets in forever, so today we stuck to the pec deck flies and they felt great. The stretch was good, the contraction was also good. We then finished off the chest with a machine press burnout. Just really trying to squeeze the last bit of gains out of my chest for today. This machine has actually grown on me quite a bit. I started off not really liking it, but now I am a fan, which is why it's in my regular routine now. After finishing off the chest, we moved on to some triceps with the cable extensions. My favorite triceps exercise by far. Now my second tricep exercise was actually the overhead dumbbell extension with one arm. I'm not sure what it's called, but my goodness, I was unable to record it. However, it is now one of my favorite tricep exercises. So make sure to get it next time. It's the most wonderful time. All right, that chest workout, chest and tries actually, that was pretty good. We did not hit 245 for more than three reps, but I definitely could have had four, I think. I had a rep in reserve, but that third rep on my first set with 245, I could feel my shoulder kind of coming into play. So I wanted to go for it, but I was like, man, I think if I misgroove, 
while I'm pushing the, the last rep, like the fourth rep, I might hurt myself. So I just racked it. And I was kind of upset because I knew I had I had another rep, but I told myself, you know what, I'll do another set with 245 for three. And if that goes up okay, then I know for sure I probably had a rep in, in reserve for my first set. So I did two sets of three for 245. So that is still progress because last workout, we did 245 for three, zero reps in reserve, and I just couldn't do. There was no way I was getting another set with 245 in. So I know for a fact I did get stronger. Um, so that was good. Uh, the incline bench press as well, I upped my weights to 205 from 185 because I was like, you know what? I'm kind of sick of just doing 185, so let's try upping it. Um, I think that's another thing you have to keep an eye on with your uh, progressions. I think what I was so focused on was on like my main first lift that I sometimes forgot to like up my weights on all the other exercises af exercises after that, but you have to make you have to make sure you're progressing in everything overall. So I did up my weight on incline bench. For triceps, I did some cable extensions and I also did some overhead dumbbell. Um, it's like the it's like the one that Lee Priest always does where he like does a kind of cross body almost. I don't know what it's called exactly. But I didn't record those, but those actually felt really good. I was surprised. So I wanted to do like an overhead movement, but doing it with cables is annoying. And I didn't want to set up like a like a bar like an easy bar, because like our easy bars are kind of limited. So I did it with like one arm dumbbells and it was really good. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, I love discovering new movements that, that actually work for me. It's really nice. So I'm excited. We're going to go home now, eat some leftovers. Uh, I think it's rice, sausage, and some eggs. And then I'll see y'all soon. I we work in, but it's a super simple lunch. Rice, sausage, eggs. Let's go. I just finished up work. Just cooked up dinner as well, waiting for my wife to come home. But we got some fried rice, real simple. Didn't really know what to make, so I was like, you know what? I'll just make some fried rice with eggs and spam. Here we have it. Hallelujah. So we're going to chill now. Uh, wait for her to come home and eat dinner. Just wind down and just relax for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I have work off. I'm actually going to meet up with one of my homies to head back. We're going to hit up Gold's Gym. So. Hopefully there's a lot, a lot more machines there. It's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna ask him. I'm not gonna ask him, but I'll probably just go through his workout because he's a pretty experienced. He's a pretty experienced lifter himself. So back, I don't really mind like doing all kinds of different stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what kind of movements he prefers. But I will see y'all tomorrow at Gold's Gym.